racism. At the mention of this word, what do you really understand by it? What does racism mean? Now, as gathered, racism has got to do with the complexion of a human being. The complexion of a human being that determines how other people who don't have the same complexion as that human being treat such human being. So, in summary, racism is the treatment of a particular group of people based on their complexion determines the value placed on them, determines how they will be treated, determines their humanity or level of humanity. Hello everyone, welcome back to Breakage Barriers. If this is your first time here, my name is Blessing. You can also call me Lady B. So if you happen to be one that lives in a country or society where you are not addressed by the complexion of your skin, how lucky you are. How blessed you are and you don't even know it until you venture out of your community or country. For those who live in countries whereby the complexion of their skin does not describe their value, then you need to see reason to get yourself educated because such human treatment does exist. Don't get me wrong, there's prejudice all over the world amongst humanity, which comes in different variations. They are ethnicity, tribalism, and those are based on the location of people, their languages, and the way at which they have chosen to live their lives. Such level of prejudice cannot be condoned as it comes with some sort of maltreatment of one another based on tribes, ethnicity, languages. But when it comes to racism, it's another level entirely where the value of people can be determined by their complexion. Racism is another level as it is appalling that an individual could determine the value of another individual based on their complexion. It's ridiculous. It's unintelligent. It's inhumane as no one determines on arrival to Mother Earth what complexion he or she wants to wear. And it's even made worse because the complexion is not something anything can take off. Oh yes, you can bleach it off, you can tone it, but it doesn't change the fact that you're not a descent of the Caucasian, you're not an Asian descent, you are an African descent. So is it not, I mean, come to think of it, as humans, we are all individually different. Although we are the same species as humans, we do have equal human rights as humans. And we all have nuances when it comes to our appearance. That's a fact. In fact, it's an obvious fact which a child can easily describe. So for an adult to want to describe one another, is it not wise for one to describe another based on their location, based on where they come from originally, based on linguistic and in other more intellectual way rather than based on the complexion of an individual? Since humans are culture bearing primates. Should we not relate and get to understand ourselves as humans based on culture, linguistic, and so on? There are so many other ways we can relate to one another based on the way we have chosen to live our life, based on the things that we do and our origin, or based on the location of the earth that we live in. When it comes to physically describing another human being, 
on the basis of differentiation. For example, if there are two people in, in the room and one is fair skin and the other is dark skin, I can easily say the one with the brown skin or the one with the dark skin, but not to relate generally with a group of people that have got variations of complexion as one color. For example, you take a group of African people and a group of Jamaicans, Haitians, Brazilians. These are groups that are scattered all over the earth. Whoever created race cannot box everyone from this group that is Africa as black based on their complexion. And by the way, does everyone in Africa have one complexion? Is everyone in Africa black? Are there no variations in their complexion? If at all, we want to go by using race as a description. Does it not seem off balance? Does it not seem unintellectual? Does it not seem foolish to call everyone in the continent of Africa black and call everyone in Brazil black? If we have to consider everyone in Brazil, they are not all black in complexion if we want to go by the word black. By the way, if we have to tone it down to Africa, let's stick with Africa for, for a moment. In Africa, you have several parts in Africa. You have the North, West, East and South Africa. When you look at the Northern part of Africa, they are not all black skinned. Most of the Northern part of Africa are brown skinned. And that brown skin comes even with different variations of lightness and darkness let alone going all around Africa. How does a group of so-called intellectuals call another group of people by one color? And as we have it today, no one is even addressing this matter. No one is querying it. As in standing up and say, this is wrong. This does not make sense. You can't group us all into one box because we are not all black in complexion. Some have darker variation than the others. So it doesn't make sense boxing everyone as black except for ulterior motives, except for motives of division, hatred, and so on. If at all, we need to group ourselves as humans. Can't we go by doing it intellectually, which makes sense to those who are already here on earth and the new ones that have just arrived. When you place a child in a room with a group of people with different complexion, by the way, making sure that the child or children that have been chosen are not the type of child or children that have been exposed systematically to racism. Take a group of children that are naive. We will find out that that child's visual understanding will not be based on complexion. And if so, will not be based on calling the people in the room as black and the other people as white. We'll find that this group of innocent children who have not been exposed to systematic racism would describe the group of people in that room with variety of complexion differently from being called black or white as there's no such human being as white there's no white human being that would be ghostly and there's no black human being as they are dark brown or could be found in their darkest brown shade of complexion. So let's suggest a more intellectual way of describing one another. These are the seven ways 
or better ways of describing one another. One, even as we all have the same physical features, like two eyes, nose, one mouth, two hands, and so on, we still aren't the same. Even in the layout of our anatomies, we have seen cases where scientists have been able to figure out an African person, a Caucasian, and other races just by their physical anatomies. So this is one of the ways as humans we can describe ourselves by our anatomy or the layout of our anatomies. Because it was through this, scientists were able to dig out humans who had been buried for centuries and are able to be described as being from a particular ethnicity a particular group of people. That was how scientists were able to determine that Africans were the original, first humans on Earth. Two, because there are nuances amongst us all as individuals, we all have our personalities and each person can be described by their personalities as your character is completely different from your parents' character. Your parents' character is different from your grandparents' character. We all have different characteristics. And that's what makes life beautiful. We don't all see life the same. The way you see life through your lens is completely different from the way I see life and so on. If this wasn't the case, then life would have been stagnant. Life would have been boring. But because we all have different characteristics, different personalities, it brings all the cons, it brings all the pros, which can also be a way of balance. As when you look at nature, it's the same way. All the other creatures beside humanity are different and they all come with their different personas, features, traits, abilities and disabilities. We haven't described the other creatures as sets of animals that all look the same, hence they will be called black animals black leaves, white leaves, black water, white water. No, we have all given these other creatures names like the mango tree, the purple tree, cats, tigers, and so on. So why do humans not describe themselves according to personalities rather than race, colors? Three, we are all made of different genders. You have the male human and you have the female human. That's a good way of description. That's a good way of relating to one another, which are two different beautiful humans. Four, the location. We all don't live in the same acre of land. As humans, we are scattered all over the earth and we all still make sure we connect with one another by migrating. So when we migrate from one location to the other, why can't we address one another as our origin? As I can say to someone who came from a part of the earth called Africa as an African, and I can address the other one who comes from America as an American, the one from Europe as a European, the one from Asia as an Asian, and so on. Is that not a better humane description? A better logical description? Five, ethnicity. Ethnicity is almost similar to location. The difference is that ethnicity comprises of culture, and language. So you can have a large group of people 
who speak the same language and can better understand themselves by relating with one another on the grounds of having the same way of doing things, which is culture. I think that's a more humane way of being able to describe and relate with one another. Six, linguistic. All over the world, as humans, the way of communication differs as we all have our own different languages spoken to one another in a way and manner at which we can understand one another and be able to work together as a team or group in achieving one goal. So language is another intelligent way of describing a group of people as opposed to race. And the seventh one is culture. Culture is the foundation at which, as humans, we see the world because it comprises of how we do things or have chosen to do things as an individual, as a community, and as a country. Culture defines our identity. Culture defines a group of people's identity. Culture defines a group of people's value system. Culture defines a group of people's system of living. So culture is the big one here. Is it not wise to describe one another as humans based on the different culture that we have chosen to embrace? as opposed to the grouping an entire continent as one complexion, the black race, and grouping another as one complexion, the white race. As there's no such thing in the world, even a child will tell you there's no white, neither is there black person. It's completely illogical calling a group of people white and another black, when obviously, physically they are not what about the ones in the middle since we are not all white and neither are we all black what what happens to the brown skin ones why are we not being descriptive of the brown skin if we choose to go by complexion if we choose to go by complexion then let's do it thoroughly let's describe it as it is if one sees a brown-skinned person, for example, like me, and I love my brown skin, let's describe that person brown skin. And please do not forget to mention the shade of the brown skin because there are different types. So describe it as brown skin. When you see someone who is tanned, peach color, pale skin, yellow skin, describe it as such if we have to go by race. It makes it easier, it makes it better, rather than putting everyone in one box as black and the other as white. If we want to be logical about this race thing, then let it be more defined. Let there be a better clarification of the description of that complexion. Because seeing a brown-skinned person and choosing to call or box that brown-skinned person into the box of black is illogical or choosing to call the caucasians or fair skin pale skin person as white is completely illogical if this race thing has to be used then let's use it more intellectually because as of now it is only dividing us and it is dumb describing one another as white and black. Of all the different beautiful shades of complexion that we all exhibit, we have overlooked all the other beautiful complexions. It's just dumb to put all the humanity in just two boxes. We can be better. We need to evolve as this racism culture is destroying human relationship in some countries like America, Europe, Australia, and it's actually expanding to the rest of the countries of the world. 
there is one humanity and culture plays a great description of our nuances, not race. As racism has an undertone of murder. Thank you very much for listening and watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye.